Let me guess. You've wanted to make a game with multiple health bars, but found it difficult to use the in built in engine for health bars. Because Game Maker only allows you to have one health bar. You've also wanted to have dynamic scoring, so when you're fighting off hordes of zombies, the longer you survive, the more points you will have. And lives. You want to control lives. Well, this is going to be one of three tutorials that I'm going to show you. I've made this game that will answer all of these questions, and you'll find out that it's much simpler than you realized. It's divided into three parts because my voice becomes unsynced with the video if the videos are really long, so bear with me. Let's go ahead and look at the game I've prepared. It's a two-player game, and up, down, left, right, WSAD, uh, V, and control fires. You'll notice in the top left hand corner we have a score that is being multiplied. We also have some lives, which I just lost one. The longer you stay alive, the more points you have, but also if you're able to destroy the ships, your score is multiplied or is increased a lot faster. But the trick is the more ships you destroy, then the more ships appear at the top of the screen. Thus it gets harder and harder to survive and presents a challenge. I'm going to go ahead and die. You notice I have normal lives so the player isn't spawning anymore. And I'll go ahead and die here. To do a health bar it is quite simple. It took me all day when I first originally created health bars for my game. But all you're going to do is if you've already downloaded the game maker file you want to open the plane object, which is player one, in the objects file. Under here, all all we're going to do is sh uh, all I'm going to do is show you how to do the health bar. So under the create event, you set a variable, which you can find under the control tab. And I'm going to name this variable. Oops, here we go. Hit points. It could be health points. It could be. Um, health bar, it could be whatever you want. <coughs> and I'm going to set it to 100. Uh, setting it to 100 will make the health bar appear full rather than if you set your health only to 50 it would be half empty when you start the game. So I'd always set, you set your hit points to 100. The next thing to do is to draw it. So we're going to go right click, add event, draw. And hence we get the draw event. On the draw event, don't forget to draw your ship make sure he's relative so he's in the place that you put him on the map and then we're going to execute a piece of code which is also under the control tab right here upon opening it up you'll notice two things the drawing the text color which is where we get the words player one health and draw health bar these coordinates right here are x y x y to get a better understanding about how that works, I'll show you on my desktop here. Pretend this is x, y, forms a dot, x, y, forms a dot. So hence, you're making something like this. And whatever you change the coordinates to, it'll make a health bar accordingly. Let's see here. This word right here represents the variable that I've created. You'll remember under the create event was hit points, and we know the number was 100. So this will represent also 100. And then I've made red, black, green, these different colors that show every time the health is, is bar is lowered, it'll change colors. And that's basically it. That's all you do. Uh, you go to player 2, and you do the exact same thing. You create hit points. You create draw and obviously I wanted the health bar on the left side of the screen for player 2 so the coordinates are a little bit different but it's the same thing and that's all you gotta do <laughs>